All right, so today's snake species is the collared whip snake. This is a rather smaller lapid and is one of four whip snakes in the Townsville region. Um, the, its scientific name is Demancitocata, which places it in a rather large genus of around 14 snakes, which are all venomous. This snake is actually endemic to Australia and it can be found along the east coast of Queensland and quite a bit inland as well. Here it utilizes like quite a big range of different habitats, but here in the Townsville area, they're usually found on the hills. So Castle Hill, Mount Stewart, Mount Elliot, they're also quite common on Maggie. So the snake in general is quite a long and slender looking species with a usually gray dorsal area and rusty flanks. As you can see on the head, it's quite, quite pale, the face markings, and it has quite a bit of patterning going on on the face there with a beautiful little black comma around the eye. Furthermore, you can see the uh, name given feature of this snake is the two yellow lines going one behind the head and one behind the neck. Uh, these two lines can vary from quite bright yellow till very, very faded white. And between them, you have a dark area that ends abruptly after the second line. So due to its, its um, quite slender brown grayish look it can be mistaken for quite a few snakes but here in the Townsville region there's mainly three candidates and one of them isn't even a snake so the one that's not a snake is called a delma tincta or an excitable delma which is a gecko a legless gecko the gecko would be way smaller than this species here the head shape would be a bit different and the overall body proportions as well so the head markings would also be very very different because the as you can see here the black or the dark nape color doesn't extend further back than the second nape in delmas they do and the body color of delmas would be a like a light brown to an almost grayish and uniformly colored not like this one which have rusty flanks and a gray back the two other snakes it can look like are two snakes in the same genus it would be the yellow faced whip snake or the lesser black whip snake. The lesser black would be by far the easiest one to ID from this one, as the lesser black would have uh, quite a few color changes going along the dorsal area. So it would have like a golden head with a bit of patterning on it to a dark, almost black saddle over to this rusty tinge color and then over to black again. The yellow-faced whip snake is by far the most similar to this species because the body color is gray and rusty red in those as well. But in yellow-faced whip snakes, it would have a change on the dorsal area, not the flanks. Also, the yellow-faced whip snake would lack the napes, so the two beautiful yellow to white lines going across the back of the head and back of the neck. However, in adult colored whip snakes, this might be lacking. So adult ones might look like might look very similar to yellow faced whip snakes. And another thing, the yellow faced whip snake also have this uh, face patterning. So they, they look very, very similar. Um, so yeah, overall, in my mind, by far the most beautiful uh, whip snake we get in the Townsville region. Absolutely stunning little snake. And yeah, I reckon we'll just release him. And oh, I forgot to talk about the venom. So as I mentioned in the start, these guys are venomous. They're not considered highly venomous and they're not considered mildly venomous. Uh, a bite from this guy would probably leave you in pain for a few hours and it will leave you quite numb. And even in some rare cases, in some individuals, this guy has even caused quite significant medical complications. So if you get tagged by this guy, you might have a quite severe reaction depending on how you react to the venom. All right, cool, let's release this guy.